Hey guys, it's Patty here. Uh, this is a video about my second Poshmark purchase, which I was super, super disappointed. I know that when you uh, consider selling Poshmark, uh, you have you kind of research and check like I did I went to YouTube like when I started my eBay when I started my Poshmark I went on YouTube and saw these videos of how to start your Poshmark business or anything like that and the first thing is what to wrap it to make it look nice for when you open it you're you're, you're excited to get your, your, your envelope or your box well the first one wasn't bad everything was perfect like if you see if you seen my first video um, I know I wasn't super wrapped in tissue paper and had a ribbon and all the good stuff um, but you know the girl gave me a nice shirt very clean and also um, the shoes were in perfect condition she did wrap it in a plastic as you saw and um, but this one um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it um, it wasn't wrapped in tissue it didn't have a ribbon it had this note it looks sort of looks like a post-it it says enjoy your purchase and then her name and um i got this shirt which i think it's super wide for me but probably you kind of like tie it in the front it's full of hair i don't know if it's pet hair or her hair like don't you have a lint roller <laughs> um so I was kind of disappointed there also um, you know normally you don't know like me I'm between a medium and a large it all depends on the on the fabric it depends if it's stretchy or not it just depends like this one that I'm wearing is large it's, it's a little loose but you know I'm okay with this not really because of the hair that I well, of course I'm gonna wash it but the first impression and do you think I'm gonna purchase anything else from this um, Poshmark seller I don't think so another thing I got some Charlotte Russe wedges size 9 which her description said that it was in great or perfect condition how can you say that they came like this no plastic bag no nothing how can you say this is perfect condition okay it doesn't have scratches in the back, but um, I don't think that's perfect condition. Same thing with this one. Um, wouldn't you think, think twice to buy these wedges? Like, come on. So I, I don't like doing this. I don't like to give two star feedback or anything like that. But I'm not even giving her feedback. I'm, I reported it to Poshmark. Hopefully, they give me some credit or I don't know, but I'm very, very disappointed. I don't think I could go out wearing these shoes. I would understand a little tiny scratch and, and like this one is not too bad, but at least she would have told me she would have stated on her on her um, on her description. She didn't even do a close up. I know I'm selling shoes on Poshmark, and I have to say it because I don't want a return. I don't want to deal with a return. I don't want to deal with a bad feedback and a, a bad score. So, yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. It's just for being my second purchase in Poshmark, I am totally, totally very disappointed hopefully not all the sellers right like that um on my behalf i wouldn't do that and come on if you know that poshmark tells you to wrap it in tissue paper or to wrap it you know in like a nice card like i know i even buy them in dollar tree i bought a pack in dollar tree i bought a pack in 99 cents only store the thank you cards there's eight cards in one packet it's only a dollar it's, it's not that difficult and I don't know what to tell you so I'm waiting to see let's see what Poshmark tells me and I'm so it's sad to give my second video my second purchase a thumbs down so hopefully if it works out and hopefully I I want to consider purchasing 
more on Poshmark. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. I know that, like I said, the first video, the first purchase, yeah, she didn't wrap it in, in tissue paper, but she specifically told me everything that the shirt had. The shirt was new and it was, it wasn't dirty. Uh, it was new, it didn't have tags, and also the shoes weren't worn. She did take a picture of it, and um, she took a picture of the of the soles of the shoe showing that they weren't used. So that's good, okay? And to get them and to be like, okay, you know, she's right. But there is no, and the pictures weren't even close-ups. Like, okay, maybe blame it on me that I didn't double check, but she didn't even say you know what it has two scratches in the front if, if they're damaged do you still want them no i know she gave me a good price but even though so um hope you guys hope i have another video of a poshmark purchase and hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it helps you um if you're starting your poshmark make sure to follow um directions follow um Watch the, the Poshmark, how to start your business as a Poshmark seller. Um, check uh, YouTube. Make sure you're following the steps because that is really going to affect you if you don't follow directions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.